Hey guys, uh, we are on Cyber Day 29 today. Uh, we're going to look at how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals back to fractions. Um, we did kind of go over this earlier in the year, but today we're going to take a little bit better of a look at it and see how you guys can deal with that. So here's where the notes start. We have our first example. We have the decimal 72 hundredths. Uh, we're going to convert that to a fraction. So anytime you want to convert to a fraction, automatically start with the number after the decimal and its place value. So we have 72. That's going to be our numerator. Hundredths, so 100, is going to be our denominator. Denominator is 100 because the decimal is to the hundredths place. Then we simplify by the greatest common factor. Greatest common factor here is 4. So we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by 4 and get 18 over 25. Simple enough, right? So decimal to fraction. Let's review the steps real quick. Decimal to fraction, step 1. Rewrite as a fraction based on place value. Uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, etc. Step 2. Simplify by dividing the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor. Or, you could also do it like this and throw percentages into the mix. You could convert the decimal to a percent, then rewrite as a fraction if that's easier for you. Uh, after that, find the greatest common factor and divide to simplify. So here we had 72 hundredths. Step 1, convert to percentage. 72%. Step two, rewrite as a fraction, 72 over 100, because percents are always out of 100. Step three, divide by greatest common factor of four, getting 18 over 25. Now we're going to reverse that and find out how to convert a fraction back to a decimal. In this example, we have 7 twelfths. So what you need to do is you need to divide the numerator by the denominator, so 7 divided by 12. 12 goes into 7 zero times. So we automatically create a decimal place there, remember, and bring it up. Then we can add placeholder 0. 12 goes into 70 five times. 5 times 12 is 60. Uh, do our subtraction. We get a remainder of 10. Bring down our 0. Now we have 100. 12 goes into 100 eight times. 8 times 12 is 96. Do our subtraction. We get a remainder of 4. Bring down our 0. 12 goes into 43 times. 3 times 12 is 36. Subtract and we get a remainder of 4. And then right there we notice we're going to have that repeating pattern of 4 every time. So that 3 is going to be repeating. So 7 twelfths as a decimal would be zero and five hundred and eighty three thousandths with the three repeating all right so those are the steps on working with that hopefully this stuff makes sense if you need questions or have questions or need examples let me know we'll get everything taken care of i want you guys to do great on this uh be sure and get the quizzes done uh as you should know by now our year for you guys is ending I think next Friday is the last day for assigned work. So be sure and stay caught up on that. You guys have done great this year. Uh, we miss you guys. Um, it's sad that we don't get to come back and see you all again until you're seventh graders, but you all are going to do awesome next year. Um, that's all I've got for you today.